Welcome to Wanigan, a truly impressive summer home in Little Compton. The word Wanigan actually means welcome, according to Roger Williams. But recently, we've had linguists from the Wampanoag Reclamation Project get the word, and they tell us that an even more authentic translation of the word Wanigan is, it is good. And truly, there are so many things about this beautiful home that are good. One of my favorite things about it is that it didn't always look this way. Back in 1779, it was a very different house. It was a simple, south-facing New England colonial, very much like the Wilbur House, that actually sat much further back on the property behind the pond that exists today. It was built by Wilbur House descendants, Anthony and Grace Wilbur, when they were a very young married couple. And the house stayed in the Wilbur family for many years as a farm. One of the last Wilbers to own it was Isaac C. Wilbur, who had his own home a little to the north. Isaac is the man who named the Rhode Island Red Hen. And at that point in the late 1800s, Wanigan was part of the largest poultry farm in the world. In 1918, there were huge changes. A couple from Providence, a very wealthy couple from Providence, Gilbert and Elizabeth King, purchased the house, hired architects, and turned it into the elaborate summer home that you see today. They moved the 1779 farmhouse from its original position to this location here at the north side of the property and added the other two thirds of the home. And so when you tour the house, you can see evidence of that early 18th century house on this end of the house, upstairs and down. One again was purchased by the Brayton family, mill owners from Fall River in 1932, who used it as their year round home. The Braytons added their own colonial revival additions to the house, and it stayed in the family for another generation with the Dawson family living here. In 2017, it was purchased by the McNaughtons, who undertook major restorations to bring it back to its 1918 lines using the original blueprints for the house. That renovation project is actually now an award-winning project as they've won a Rhodey Preservation Award from Preserve Rhode Island. When you visit one again, you also wanna take some time to see the beautiful garden called the Glade. The Glade was installed sometime in the middle of the 20th century by Mrs. Brayton and well-known local landscape artist Lloyd Lawton, who lived in Tiverton, was inspired by Japanese gardens and was responsible for the design and installation of many spectacular gardens in Little Compton. Some of those gardens are starting to fade away, but we're so lucky that Lloyd Lawton's work has sort of been rejuvenated by the McNaughton family working with John Gwynn, a present day landscape architect. Your trip through the glade will end at the barn where you can visit the donkeys who live on the property.